Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. So I'm taping this book in December. And I don't know what you celebrate at your house, but we celebrate Christmas at Granny B's house. And, and we put up a Christmas tree and we put lots of lights everywhere and we just make it cheerful. And Matt reminds us all the time of giving and being kind to others. The, the holiday season just brings that out in our hearts. Well, I want to read you a story about this little boy in New York City. He was the biggest little boy. I don't know. I've never read this story before, so I think it's going to be kind of interesting to see what kind of Christmas tree the biggest little boy wants to choose. This book is written by Poppy Harlow, and it's illustrated by Ramona Kolitsky. So, oh my goodness, it's snowing in New York City. Look at that. On a tree-lined block in the big, busy city lived a little boy named Luca who loved big things. Big trucks, big toys, big buildings, big buses, big bulldozers, big St. Bernard's, big bowls of pasta, big statues, but especially big, big trees. Since he was a little boy, Luca had tried to climb the biggest tree at Triangle Park. Each year he made it a little higher and higher, but never all the way to the top. You see, climbing big trees made Luca feel big. Luca sighed. It's not easy being little, Luca said to his parents each night as he lay in bed. In the big, busy city, the big grown-ups would bump into him. They just didn't seem to see him down there. They were too busy looking up. It seemed like everything special was up. So Luca decided he would look up too. It was nearly Christmas and more than anything, Luca wanted a big Christmas tree, the biggest Christmas tree on his block, the biggest Christmas tree in the big city. Can't we cut down the big tree in the middle of Triangle Park? Luca begged his parents. Can't we bring that tree home, he pleaded. Maybe we can borrow the one in the window, Luca exclaimed. We'll know our tree when we see it, Luca's parents assured him. That each day on his walk home from school, Luca passed the Christmas tree market on the corner of Cranberry Street. Fraser firs, balsam firs, white pines, all lined up from littlest to biggest. As he passed by each tree, brushing his mittens along the prickly pines, Luca daydreamed about coming home with the biggest one of all and decorating it with endless strings of lights, and the popcorn and cranberry garlands he'd made with his mom, hanging giant candy canes on its branches and topping his tree with an enormous shining star. But none of these trees was big enough. One crisp late December afternoon, after most of his neighbors had trees aglow in their windows, Luca and his mom walked down Cranberry Street past the Christmas tree market. 
he was staring up, up, up at the not so big enough Christmas trees when he tripped. A little tree had fallen out of its stand onto the sidewalk. Luca dusted off his pants and stood up. He picked up the little tree and plopped it back in its stand. It wasn't big. It wasn't tall. Its branches were crooked and needles were missing. The little tree was anything but what Luca wanted. But somehow, it seemed to be just right. Perfect, actually, just the way it was. Luca smiled at the tree, and the tree seemed to smile back. I've found my tree, Luca exclaimed. You see, Luca had been so busy looking up that he had missed the special things right in front of him. Special comes in any size. We never thought anyone would buy this little guy, the Christmas tree man, Francois, said to Luca, but I'm glad you wanted him. Beaming, Luca lifted his tree and carried it the three long blocks home all by himself. That night, Luca would wrap his little tree with garland and place his favorite baseball cap on the highest branch. Luca lay in bed, staring up at the glow-in-the-dark stars on his ceiling. He felt big, and he was. He had a big heart for things big and small. It was Luca's heart that made him the biggest little boy in the big, busy city. So special. Special things do come in all sizes. You don't have to be big to be special. And you don't have to buy big things or go big places. It's just being yourself and being kind to those people around you and appreciating everything for what it is, whether it's big or small. Well, Granny B's not real big. But my heart is big like Luca's heart, and I want to be the best giver and the best helper, and I want to care the most about all the people in my life. So I hope you will remember to be kind to those people around you and let them know you care about them this holiday season. Because you know Granny B cares about you. I hope you'll come see me again real soon because Granny B loves you. Bye-bye.